everybody, it's Panda here. So I'm here with a quick tutorial today to show you how to remove the background off an LPS. This can be from your own photo or one from my favorite little stash of LPS photos online, which is um, Nicole's LPS blog. If you go onto this, you can get really high quality photos and they've got a white background and they're just really simple to edit. But... There are some things that you need to know first if you're a beginner. So you need to download an application that has this magic wand tool. Um, you could go onto a website if you wanted, because I'm pretty sure there are websites that offer the same kind of thing. But I prefer an application because it's simpler, runs easier, saves easier, that kind of thing. Um, I use paint.net, but Photoshop would do the same thing. Just not paint, because I know that doesn't have the magic wand tool. So next thing is, you can choose to import your very own picture or to get one off online. But you have to make sure that the background is a block color. So you see, mine's completely white. My background's completely white, so there won't be a problem here. But, if your LPS has a bit of white on it, like down here, I know this isn't going to completely work when I do the magic wand tool. So, if you go over to Window, and if you haven't already got out the Tools um, window, then you can just put that up. And as you can see here, it's got um, all of the tools you'll need. So, first of all, we're picking the magic wand tool. Now, since this LPS has got too much white on it, once we go and click at the background, see, it takes away some of the LPS. So, we don't want that. So, we can just leave that for now, and I'll explain what you can do. So, with this LPS, I'm just going to get the magic wand tool, click on the background, and it's gone completely fine. It's cut out a little bit of her foot here, but we can easily fill that back in if we need to. And now what we're going to do is get the rectangle select key, then just crop to selection, and then once again with rectangle select and then cut so we can get rid of the writing. So that's basically how you can remove the background of an LPS. Easier than you maybe thought, right? And they do this kind of thing online as well. So you could go on to websites like... Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if PicMonkey does it, but there are loads of websites you can check out that do this kind of thing. If you just type in Magic Wand Tool, you might find something. But back on to this now. Um, since we can't remove the background, what we're going to do is use the eraser tool instead. So, this eraser tool just basically gets rid of the background in the same way that the magic wand tool does. And you just want to go a bit more carefully. You'll probably want to zoom in and things as well. But I'm just going to show you what the removed background, otherwise known as transparent, looks like on an actual photo. So obviously this is perfect for like if you want to make a channel background or some kind of icon, then you can use this. And since my LPS is a bit too bright for my liking, I can go on to adjustments, then go into hue slash saturation. And I'm just going to take away some of the saturation only slightly so that it just blends in a little bit more. So this is what the photo overall photo looks like and if you keep going with this one then you can have the same kind of result but you have to remember to take it slowly and carefully thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed it's a really easy tutorial and I thought I'd show some people who didn't know how to do it so I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time